I'm going to start by showing you two pictures. What's the difference between them? You can say genetics, luck, but today we'll be looking at testosterone and longevity. High T men don't just live differently. They age differently. They are younger at a cellular level. Think about it. Testosterone levels decline with age naturally. So if you maintain natural high amounts, that will have biological advantages. Two people can be the same age chronologically, but biologically, one is already breaking down while the other is just getting started. Testosterone actively fights the processes that cause it. Here's how. The first way is through telomere preservation. Every time your cells divide, your telomeres get shorter. Once they're gone, cells can't replicate. Basically, that's aging in its purest form. This isn't a correlation. Testosterone directly up regulates telomerase, the enzyme that repairs telomeres. The other way is through mitochondrial optimization. As you age, your mitochondria degenerate, leading to fatigue, muscle loss, and disease. Testosterone boosts mitochondrial biogenesis while increasing their efficiency. A 2020 study in Endocrine Reviews showed testosterone enhances ATP production by up to 30% in aging men. That's why high T men have more energy, recover faster, move quicker, and outlast their peers. Myonuclear domain expansion. When old people age, their muscles wither. I'm sure you've seen it. But testosterone increases myonuclear domain size, meaning each muscle cell nucleus controls more territory. This prevents age-related muscle loss. A study in Frontiers in Physiology found men with higher T levels maintain muscle mass decades longer than low T men. One of the core mechanisms of aging is chronic inflammation. Inflammation slowly destroys tissue, weakens organs, and degrades the skin. Testosterone is one of the most potent anti-inflammatory hormones in the male body. When T is high, C-reactive protein levels are lower. TNF-alpha, a damaging cytokine involved in tissue breakdown, is suppressed, and interleukin-6 is also lower. Why does this matter? Inflammation eats away at your collagen, your joints, and your skin, even your brain, and testosterone defends against all of that. Most men lose skin elasticity and structure in their 30s. High T men maintain facial volume, firmness, and density. So they don't look hollow, and they don't collapse inward. They age like stone, not like fruit. Another important thing is the bone density. Aging isn't just about skin. It's about bone loss underneath the skin. Most people don't realize this, but facial aging is largely due to bone resorption. And this is where the masculine archetype has an advantage. They have higher bone density. As we age, the maxilla collapses inward, the mandible shrinks, and the orbit widens, making the eyes look hollow. Obviously, modern lifestyles make these even worse, but testosterone preserves bone density. It signals osteoblast activity, the cells that build bone, and it suppresses osteoclasts, the cells that break it down. High T men have a masculine bone structure, which literally holds the skin and muscles up. Bone supports the soft tissue, reducing signs of aging, especially around the midface and jaw. Testosterone helps regulate fat distribution, particularly preventing the accumulation of visceral fat. Men with lower T often see an increase in this problematic fat, creating a cycle where the excess fat can further suppress testosterone production. Testosterone doesn't work alone. It boosts other hormones that slow aging even further. There's the growth hormone synergy. Testosterone amplifies growth hormone, GH, secretion, which repairs tissue, burns fat, and strengthens joints. Testosterone increases IGF-1 sensitivity ensuring your cells actually use these growth signals. The result? Faster healing, thicker skin, and stronger tendons. Testosterone also suppresses cortisol. Cortisol accelerates aging, and it also protects the male brain. Low testosterone has been strongly linked to brain fog, loss of motivation, reduced dopamine signaling, increased risk of Alzheimer's, and shrinking hippocampus volume. Testosterone boosts dopamine, sensitivity, improves mood, and protects memory. You don't need a lab to see this. Just look at high T men or traditional societies where testosterone remains high into old age. These men stay strong, sharp, and sexually active. Most guys today have testosterone levels of old men. This is not normal. This is not natural. 
there are obviously other things accelerating people's aging today. But I wanted to focus on testosterone. It's your biological advantage in a world that's breaking men down. It's not about artificially boosting testosterone to extreme levels. You want it to be naturally high, otherwise it can bring other issues that you don't want. Make informed choices about your health. Try improving what you can and make peace with what you can't. This is the natural way. Thanks for watching. Hey.